Welcome to the part 4 of our presentation on the characteristic features of the phylum Arthropoda. Outline. This uh, presentation will talk about the description of the metamorphosis. We will also go into tackle the three types of metamorphosis among insects. Uh, so we have those insects that uh, exhibit no metamorphosis. We also have those insects having an incomplete metamorphosis and uh, also those having a complete type of metamorphosis. It is said that most insects undergo metamorphosis. So usually when we say metamorphosis, that includes a crow-wing, non-reproducing larva or nymph which has no wings, and it later develops into a non-growing, reproducing adult which usually have wings. We define metamorphosis as the changes in form that occur as an insect approaches adulthood. In biology, molting, also known as ecdesis in many invertebrates, is the way an animal routinely casts off a part of its body either at specific times of the year or at specific points in its life cycle. Metamorphosis in arthropods has three types. These include the ametabolous type of uh, metamorphosis or development. We also have the hemimetabolous type of development and the holometabolous type of development. Insects are separated into two classes based on whether they undergo metamorphosis and develop wings. These two subclasses include the subclass Apterigota and the subclass Terigota. So when we say subclass Apterigota, these are primitive insects that do not have wings. This includes the silverfish. We also have the subclass Terigota. These are insects that develop wings via two types of metamorphosis. The first type of metamorphosis is the ametabolous type of metamorphosis. So insects that are ametabolous are, are exhibit no metamorphosis or these are insects without metamorphosis. So this is also known as a metamorphosis. At occlusion, the insect resembles the adult, except that it is smaller. So when we say uh, occlusion, that is the emergence of an adult insect from its pupal case, or the hatching of an insect larva from an egg. Development, therefore, simply involves the increasing the insect size by going through the successive molts. So an example of an insect that exhibits an ametabolous type of metamorphosis is the silverfish. The silverfish is a species of small primitive wingless insect you know, that is uh, under the uh, suborder of Teregota. So as you can see here, you know, we have here the larva of the silverfish that resembles that of the adult. The insects under the subclass Apteragota exhibits an ametabolous type of metamorphosis. In this type of metamorphosis, there is direct development, there is no metamorphosis, and the insect exhibit no wings. The members of the subclass Apteragota are considered to be the most primitive type of all insects. The term apteregota comes from the Greek word a, meaning without, and terego, meaning wing. They are completely wingless and have an ametabolous type of development. So in the ametabolous type of development, there is a, a little change in the form as they develop and they just keep getting bigger. The orders under the subclass apteregota include the protura, the plura, tysanura, and the columbola. So the, uh, the silverfish and the bristle tails are under the order Tysanura and the springtails is under the order Columbula. The silverfish of the genus Lepisma is a member of the subclass Apteregota that exhibits an ametabolous type of development. Another group of insects that demonstrate a different type of metamorphosis is the subclass Teregota. 
The members of this subclass exhibit two types of metamorphosis. The incomplete type or the hemi metabolous type of metamorphosis and the complete type of metamorphosis or the hollow metabolous type of metamorphosis. The incomplete type of metamorphosis is exhibited by the division or the superorder exopteregota and the complete type of metamorphosis is exhibited by the division or the superorder endopteregota. The hemimetabolous type is also known as the incomplete metamorphosis. The nymph or the larva resembles an adult without wings. The wings grow larger at each moult. The larva reaches the adult stage at the final moult. So this is an, an example of a development under the hemimetabolous type of development or the incomplete metamorphosis. In this uh, type of metamorphosis, uh, these include the winged insects and the wings develop externally on the nymph or the larval body. The word exopteregota comes from the ancient Greek word exo meaning outside plus teron meaning wing plus the new Latin ota meaning having. They are also known as the hemipterodea they are a superorder of the insects of the subclass Teregota, in which the young resembles the adults but have externally developing wings. This diagram represents the development, developmental stages of the hemimetabolous type of uh, insects, having an incomplete type of metamorphosis. So in these uh, insects, the wings develop on the outside and the adults reproduce, but they do not grow. So these uh, life stages include the egg. We also have the small juvenile, medium, and the large juvenile. And the at final moult, we have the adult. The subclass Teregota includes most of the world's insect species. The name comes from the Greek word terex, which means wings. Insects in the subclass Teregota have wings or had wings once in the evolutionary history. The division of the pterygotes that exhibit a hemimetabolous type of development or incomplete metamorphosis is the division exopteregota. The diagram exhibits the developmental stages of a hemimetabolous type of development. In this case, uh, we have here an example is the bug. So the bug's uh, development includes the egg. We also have the uh, gradual increase, no, the gradual external development of the wing pads in the uh, nymphal stages of the uh, bugs, as well as the development of the adult. So in this type of uh, development, there is an increase in the size of the uh, insects no, from the juvenile stages to the adult. The exopteregota exhibits a hemimetabolous type of metamorphosis. Exopteregota uh, signifies the development of the wings outside the body. Insects that develop in this way are said to show incomplete metamorphosis. In the orders of the insects in which make up the exopteregota, the larvae are usually called as the nymphs. After one or two molts, developing wings can start to be seen in sheets on the outside of the nymphs. Then there comes a time when they stop growing, molt again and become adults. The adults are also known as the imago. They become sexually mature in this final adult stage. In one order of the insects, the mayflies, There is also a sub-imago stage just before the final adult stage. There are various orders under the suborder exopteregota that exhibit a hemimetabolous type of development. Among them are the order orthoptera, 
isoptera, odonata, hemeptera, and the homoptera. So these are just uh, five among the many orders of the division exoptera peregota that exhibit incomplete metamorphosis. The order orthoptera exhibit a hemimetabolous type of development. So the insects under this order include the crickets, the, uh, the grasshoppers, the cockroaches, and the mantids. Among the orthopterans, the cockroaches and the mantids are placed in the order Ichthyoptera, although they are sometimes placed in the Blattodea and the Mantodea, uh, respectively, which may be considered as separate orders of the suborders Dictyoptera. We also have the order Isoptera, which includes the termites. The order Odonata includes the dragonflies and the damsel flies. The order Hemeptera includes the two bugs, assassin bugs, and the bed bugs. The order Homoptera includes the cicadas, the aphids, and the leaf hoppers. Another is the order Teraptera, so it also exhibits a hemi metabolous type of development. So the order Theraptera is subdivided into two suborders, the Anoplura or the blood sucking lice and the Malifaga or the chewing lice or the biting lice. The Malifaga feed on the skin, keratinous substances of the feathers and the hairs and the dermal secretion fluids. So this is an example of the uh, suborder Malifaga, chewing lice having a head you know, that is wider than the thorax and uh, having a chewing mouth parts. For the suborder Anoplura, so this includes the sucking lice, they have piercing sucking mouth parts, the head is narrower than the thorax and the legs have distinct claws. So this type of insects exhibit an incomplete type of metamorphosis. These slides uh, exhibits the Developmental stages of the two suborders under the order Theraptera. So the first is the suborder Anoplura. So the developmental stages include the egg, the first larval stage, the second larval stage, the third larval stage, and the adult. The same is true for the suborder Malifaga. Another group of insects that exhibit uh, an incomplete type of metamorphosis is the order. Uh, Socoptera. This includes the book lice and the bark lice. So cockroaches also exhibit a hemimetabolous type of development. So it belongs to the order Blattodea, now coming from the word blata meaning cockroach. For their, um, the description of their morphology, they have flattened oval body. The head are concealed from above by pronotum and they have uh, horsorial legs. And the antennae are considered to be long and filiform, and they have leathery wings. This diagram shows the life cycle of the cockroach, showing the uh, different developmental stages from the egg, the nymphs, and the adult. So we also have the hollow metabolous type of development. So for those, those insects that exhibit hollow metabolous uh, metamorphosis, exhibit a complete metamorphosis. At occlusion, the larva looks very different from the adult and it generally has a very different lifestyle. So again, when we say occlusion, that is the emergence of an adult insect from its pupal case or the hatching of an insect larva from the egg. When, it grow, when its growth is completed, the larva forms a pupa. So inside this protective envelope, the larva undergoes major structural changes, eventually emerging as the adult stage. The members of the superorder Indopteregota exhibit a hollow metabolous type of development. So, in the hollow metabolous type of development, there is a complete metamorphosis. The wings develop on the outside, or rather on the inside, and the adults reproduce but they do not grow. So this um, 
diagram here represents the uh, developmental stages in the life cycle of the uh, insects that exhibit a hollow metabolous type of development. So these are again classified under the suborder Indopteregota. So these life stages include the egg. We also have here the young larva, the terminal larva, and we have, we have here the pupa and the adult. So some examples of the orders that exhibit a holometabolous type of metamorphosis are the order Coleoptera, Lepidoptera, Hymenoptera, and the order Deptera. So the order Diptera includes the flies and the mosquitoes. They have only one pair of flying wings, and the second pair of wings are reduced to half years, thus it is also used in balance. So they exhibit a complete type of metamorphosis. This slide represents the developmental stages in the life cycle of the mosquito and the housefly. So they, are, they belong to the order Diptera. For mosquitoes, its life cycle includes the egg, the pupa, the larva, and the adult. The same is true for the housefly. The order Hymenoptera includes the bees, the wasp, and the ants, and they also exhibit a complete metamorphosis. Another example with a hollow metabolous development is the order Lepidoptera, so this includes the butterflies and the moths.